Hello, and welcome to the latest episode of Small Screen Maniac. I'm your host, Constance Miller. In today's review, I'm going to be discussing the 1976 made-for-TV movie called Sybil, which is based on a book by Flora Rada Schreiber. And it is a story about a young woman with multiple personalities now known as Dissociative Identity Disorder. And this is something that I have myself. So, I've been bringing myself to watch more things about DID, Dissociative Identity Disorder. Um, and I purchased quite a few movies based on uh, that subject matter. Uh, those things are hard for me to watch um, because either they're too Hollywood or they're just not factual enough. Uh, the closest thing that I've come to thus far has been the United States of Terra. Uh, which is a um, program that I believe was on HBO. Uh, I watched it on Hulu. And I don't know if it's still available on Hulu, but it is the closest thing that has come to what I experience so far in viewing any related media pertaining to DID. So, I had never watched Sybil. And, well, I mean, it came out the year that I was born. So, <laughs> um, but it's been on my radar. I know the pop culture references. And I was told that well, not told, but instructed by several different sources that Sybil was not a good representation of DID and to avoid it. And so I did. But there was an itch that I needed to scratch and I went ahead and purchased the DVD and I watched it in one sitting and here are my thoughts. Sybil is written by Stuart Stern who is acclaimed in Hollywood for his screenplays and it's directed by Daniel Petrie, and it's based off the book by Schreiber, which I mentioned, and it's a story about Shirley A. Mason and her experiences with multiple personality disorder, now known as dissociative identity disorder, and while it's an adaptation of the book, Stern and Petri went to a source. And that source was Dr. Cornelia Wilbur, who was the doctor that was treating Shirley slash Sybil. Uh, her name had to be changed for the time period. And 
Stuart Stern took extensive notes from Dr. Wilbur's tapes of her sessions with Sybil. And that created the screenplay about which this movie is about. And the story is of Sybil Dorset, and she is a young grad student who suddenly starts feeling a lot of anguish and and things start happening to her that she can't remember. There are things that happen that she's unaware of. And when she cuts herself on a broken window, she goes to the doctor's office to get it healed and fixed. And in that process, the treating doctor recommended her to a neurologist, a psychiatrist actually. And that is Cornelia Wilbur, Dr. Cornelia Wilbur. And they begin a journey into the psyche of Sybil. And it is discovered that she has multiple personalities. And each personality displays their own take on Sybil's life. And it's actually a glorious piece of work. For coming out in 1976, and when, when Sybil slash Shirley's life was actually afflicted by this, it was very, very uncommon for this to be diagnosed as what it is. So for this movie to take that story and make it a little bit more contemporary for the time and depict the things that it depicts is extraordinary. It, it, it's astounding. And I found so much relevance to what I go through I just, I, I'm kind of sad that I've not seen this before. I realize, I mean, it was a hard watch at times. Because the basis of dissociative identity disorder is that there are things that happen in your childhood that stun or deplete your coping mechanisms and therefore your brain fractures off and creates alternate personalities to deal with those traumas so you don't have to. And that's something that is difficult. It's, it's hard to manage, and there's no cure, there's no medication for it. And even though, well, at the end of the film, I'm going to give some spoilers. Um, Sybil finds a way to make peace with her altars, which there are 16 of. And she makes some peace. And from what I hear, based on the extras on the DVD from the people who created the film, who've been in touch with the real Dr. Wilbur, Sybil slash Shirley has gone on to live a good life until she passed away. That brings hope to me. 
<laughs> um, but yeah, so let's dive into the movie a little bit. Um, Dr. Cornelia Wilbur is portrayed by Joanne Woodward, who herself played a character uh, with multiple personalities back in 1957 in The Three Faces of Eve. And that is also a movie I'm going to watch and review. And so she has, she has the experience. And Sally Field plays Sybil. And she won an Emmy Award for this. And by no doubt, it was well deserved. I, I couldn't imagine being able to channel 16 different people much alone yourself you've got your host and you've got 16 different people so 17 all together however Sally Field does a tremendous job some of the lines are blurred a little bit where it was hard to tell where she rapidly switched from one personality to another. It was up to Joanne Woodward to, to state where the transitions lied. And, or I should say were laid out. But, um, but the chemistry between Sally and Joanne was so palpable it was so well done and kudos to to petri for directing such a wonderful piece of work written by stern and and showcasing the talents of two brilliant actors if you have the chance to watch sybil I think it is a good learning experience for dissociative identity disorder if you're unfamiliar, uh, which most people are. Do I think it's absolutely clinical? No, I don't. But there are moments that resonate with my experiences so much. So much. So please, take some time, watch Sybil if you can. I'm pretty sure it's available on different platforms. Uh, it's a lengthy watch. It was originally a four hour, two day television movie. So it's roughly about an hour and three quarters uh, long. Um, but it, for the performances alone, it's worth it. Um, and I have to give a shout out to Brad Davis, who plays the love interest of Sybil. Um, I wasn't sure about his character or his acting at first. Um, but he did a really good job, and I found out during the extras that he is no longer with us. So, a shout out to Brad Davis for doing a wonderful job in this film. That is going to do it for this episode of Small Screen Maniac. Please hit like and subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to share with your friends if you know somebody who is going with dissociative I or dealing with dissociative identity disorder or somebody going through it. It can help. A lot. Thank you once again so much for watching. Love and light to you all.